So earlier this year, before the season started, I was playing around with my wild edge steps and um, I decided to build some aiders for them. I had been using some Amsteel aiders. They were just a single step aider. And I had them tied on to the crossbar and they would come down, you know, loop down, just a single step aider and they stayed attached to the step the whole time. Well, I was trying to lighten my load and my target goal was to get to around 18 feet. And it ends up with the system that I'm running now with the steps that I just built. Um, I'm averaging about 20 feet, give or take. But the, but the aiders that I built are made out of 316 Sam steel. They are basically, I don't know a whole lot about Amsteel. Um, in the hammock world, there's a thing called a dog bone. It's basically a Brummel splice on each end that you can use for different things. So I got to trying to figure out how I'm gonna build these aiders. I didn't have a problem with having one aider per step and they stay on the step the whole time I'm hunting. And when I come back down, I take them off. I didn't have a problem with that. So me being a fireman for over 25 years, I over-engineered it. And, and you probably could get by with doing it a little different and not using so much Amsteel. But I ordered 100 feet of 316 Amsteel from Eastern Woods Outdoors and I've basically got 18 feet per aider. But the way I had to do this to get it to where I felt safe with it and I knew it wasn't gonna come apart, I made three of those Amsteel dog bones. I believe I started with right at a six foot piece of 316 Sam Steel. And I don't remember all the measurements, but I ended up with a loop just big enough to go over my standoffs of my steps. And I've got about a 10 inch berry. So I ended up with three dog bones per set of steps. And I don't know if it would, if this is going to come across the way that it needs to be, but I ended up, I had to start at the bottom step. Once I got my dog bone made, I got this 5 sixteenths fuel line and I put the fuel line on the dog bone. I did that on all three of them. Then I figured out how I found the center point of say the second step. I knew how wide I wanted my step to be. And I started there. I don't know how well you can see. I inserted the bottom step through the second step and brought the loop out. And then I took the second step and ran it through the loop. So the, basically there's a girth hitch and it will not come apart. I know that's probably way over engineered, but it will not come apart. And I've got my steps roughly 15 to 16 inches. Um, some people will can, can go more than that. You know, some taller people can go 18, 19 inches, but I tried it on a set and uh, I had to end up rebuilding it, tearing it apart and rebuilding it because it just was, it wouldn't work for my short legs. I'm 5'8". Okay, so the way these things work, and I'm gonna go out on a tree shortly and uh, we'll put them to use and I'll show you. So my steps stay on the back of my pack. My pack is a um, Outlaw 2 sling pack from 3V Gear. And my steps are hooked onto a gripper. 
that I got from Austin at Genesis 3D Printing. So my steps stay on the back. When I get to the tree, I sling, I, I either take the pack off and take the steps off or I can sling the pack around the way it's supposed to be used and take the steps off. But the aiders, my daughter and I made this little holster out of a, it was a fleece beanie hat. But I carry three. I've got two more in here in case I absolutely need them. But I carry three and they stay right here across my chest. And when I get to the tree, I get my steps and I put them over on the Versa hanger that I have on the side of my saddle. And then I take the first step, I get it ready to put on the tree. And I take out my first aider, which is here. And I come over the standoff with that loop. Come over the standoff with that loop. And I go around the tree and I make my knot. So basically, you've got your step with your ladder aider hanging below it. And I can comfortably get this step to about six foot, six foot one, um, depending on how the base of the tree is. You know, and that's, that's comfortable for me being five eight. So if I can get each step at six feet, by the time I get to the third step, I'm at 18 feet. And the way I generally do my setup on any given tree, except for the one I hunted the day before yesterday, is I'll do three steps and get to 18 feet. And while I'm standing on the third step, I'll take another step and I'll put it on and my perch stays on the back of my saddle. I'll take my perch off and put it on. So now I'm at like 18 feet and then my perch hunting height is gonna be 19 and a half, somewhere in that ballpark, 19 and a half to 20, depends on how things space out. So I'll put the one step with the perch and then I generally, I have enough to where I generally will put one on each side and have like a ring of steps and then the main one in the middle for my perch. I tried it the other day with just three steps without the perch because I hear people talking about that. It wasn't comfortable to me, mainly because I'm used to having the perch sitting there and that little bit of a platform away from the step. So I ended up wasn't real easy, but I ended up taking my perch off and putting it in place on my third step. So I was hunting height was at 18 feet and I really could have went up higher, but that was going to take me out of my surrounding canopy and I was going to be way too exposed. So I hope that helps kind of explain the way that I use my aiders. Um, I really, really like this system. The only thing that I'm going to do different is I've got a whole nother set of steps that my son uses or he's going to use. Um, the next build, this is three sixteenths. The next build will probably be with eighth inch just so it'll tighten up. Now I'm not going to be able to conserve any space using the fuel line. I might can use a smaller fuel line. Um, but then, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. I've got room in this holster for four, but I generally put my glasses in a case right here as I go up the tree. So anyway, I'm gonna go uh, get things together and go set these on a tree and show you exactly how I use them. So when I get to the tree that I wanna climb, let's say this is the tree that I wanna climb. <clears throat> what I've been doing because this pack is just so easy to take off. I take it off. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. But... I take my steps off. And I put the pack right back on. It's just easier for me that way, I think. 
Then I undo my steps. Now I've got one extra step on here right now, but I'm gonna not use it. I wanna show you how easy the gripper is to use. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this step off. So when I get to the tree I'm gonna hunt, I take all this part, I put this gripper on that Versa hanger. On daisy chain my steps, reach down, grab one, reach in my pouch, grab my aider, slip the aider over the standoff, now the aider's hanging off the front side. Tie my knot. Before I cinch my knot down, I always like to make sure that my aider loop is coming along, coming out the front. I like that. And a lot of times I just take my tag in and I'll put it there so it's out of my way, really. So now, take my lineman belt. And just that fast, I'm at six feet. And from here, all I would have to do Take another step, take another aider, put it on, keep going up. On the way down, it's just as easy, but I need to, I always make sure that I put my ropes on the back side. So I can get these steps to snap in place. The steps in the aider are easy to get to because they're, you know, they got that fuel line. When I get down, just reverse the process. I put my lineman belt back in my pouch. Take my aider off. I'm generally a little more quiet than that, but put my step back in the gripper. I just take this thing and fold it up. And I do this on the way down with every step. Fold it up, put it back in its spot. Put everything back together. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Climb safe, live wild, and God bless.